Veteran says they received a call in October that a fellow veteran had a leak in his roof. That's right. So the Combat Veteran Motorcycle Association organized a group of volunteers to come together and fix it. KWQC Sarah Jones was in DeWitt as the group started their repair work. Sarah? David and Sharon, when a veteran needs a ramp in their home or if a widow of a veteran needs help staying in her house, if Ed hears about it, he's the first one to make a call to get it taken care of. That's what people who know him will tell you about him. So when the Combat Veteran Motorcycle Association heard their brother needed something, they came with the tools to fix it. When these veterans received a call that one of their brothers had a leak in his roof... We got together, <clears throat> Home Depot themselves, we, I told them what we were buying materials for, and they said we'd like to help. And they uh, actually donated all the materials for us. So all we had to do was get the labor together, and uh, we've got a, a, a crew here today. Most of these guys, everybody's volunteer. Professionals come out and look and try to resolve the issue and couldn't and basically said I needed to tear off a new roof and they're doing it for me. So the least I can do is feed them. Ed, who owns this house, served in Vietnam. In 66, we wore our uniform to fly home. It was going to be like $150 to fly home, and if you wore your uniform, it was $75. And, and I flew home from California and got in a fight that night before I got to the house because I was called a baby killer. He continued to support and help his fellow brothers and sisters through the Vietnam Veterans of America. And when he retired from his civilian job, he became a veteran service officer. He did that for 10 years for free. So he's helping veterans you know, navigate the paperwork part of it. So he did that and I was like, you know what? This is a project that is worthy of what he's done. Oh, I'm very proud of him. Very proud. He just, it's like a gem. These veterans and their spouses are using their time off from work to help. It's labor intensive, but you know, you just think about why you're doing it. We owe so much to our veterans, and I just don't think that we do enough for them. And veterans means family. Well, every one of us has been in active uh, a theater, I guess, of operation. If it's Vietnam, if it's Korea, if it's Iraq, Afghanistan. I served in uh, Iraq from 2003 to 2004. After we went through what we did when we come home, we screamed loud enough, people paid attention, and they realized the good these guys are doing. Because regardless of whether we're right or wrong in, in going over and doing that, we're doing what our country asked us to do, and they did it, we did it, and that's where part of the brotherhood is. As soldiers, they served, and as civilians, they continue to serve. We never, we'll never end. That's what we do. After risking his life for his country, Ed says he feels humbled that so many helped patch the roof over his head. In DeWitt, Sarah Jones, KWQC TV6 News. Combat Veteran Motorcycle Association says they'll be putting the finishing touches on the roof tomorrow.